I've never heard this version. I've never heard this version before. That's kind of cool. Yeah! I don't know. I was planning on having, like, the original thing pop up, but sure, that could happen. Just another new version for some reason. I'm alright with that. Whatever. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tales of Symphonia. I did a poll, and Stardew Valley won, and I did, like five episodes of Stardew Valley, and then I realized that the audio was completely borked, and I had to throw it all away, and I was sad. And I didn't want to play all that again, so I am going to do Stardew Valley at some point, but Stelzifania was number two, so I'm doing, I'm doing that now. <laughs> Goddamn! Just ruin all my plans, why don't you? Alright, so let's mess with the game settings right at the beginning. So... Um, skits on, uh, battle controls, um, sure, let's go with semi-auto for now and we'll fix it later. Vibration on, I don't know why that matters, I'm playing on the computer. Once upon a time, there existed mm. a that. giant tree. Do you see that stuttering? That, the source of manor. that didn't happen last time. I wonder if it a doesn't war, like being recorded. However, caused this tree to wither away and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place grieving over the loss the goddess disappeared unto the heavens the goddess left the angels with this edict you must wake me for if i should sleep the world shall be destroyed okay the angels bore Ugh. the chosen We're stuttering. One, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. Whoa! <laughs> and that the beginning of the regeneration of the world. Hey. Lloyd Irving, wake up. Yeah, I'm doing the English because I want to. You can't stop me. <laughs> There are Japanese, but I'm doing English. Lloyd. His name is Lloyd. Ow. Ah. How do you manage to sleep standing? I, I don't know. I thought I'd turn this down. This sounds loud. Is oh, this loud? Professor Rain, it, is class over? Pretty sure I turned this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be paranoid about sound for like the Let's have someone else answer the entire question. first episode. Genius, I know how it. about you? Yes, Rain. There's no way I can like turn this down. Meet like, the hero. Conversation brought about I? the end nope. of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Carlon. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martell to seal away the designs whom caused the war. But the designs came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. I designs you to shut up! <laughs> we covered that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the designs reappear. Just No one cares what you have to say, Robin. Shut the fuck! I, uh, yeah, I knew that. I, I just forgot. Today is the day of prophecy. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martell. You can tell how low res their uh, microphones were every time she hits an S. Now chosen one, Colette. Yes, ma'am? Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the designs. Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martell, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that one. 
What is this? Why does it linger on Lloyd with his eyes closed? Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. It's just like, for the love of God, please stop talking. It is said that this occurs because the designs consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. Mmm, ranch. Ah! The Chosen's journey has two purposes. To revive mana, as well as defeat the designs. I find it strange. You see, you, uh, you guys can't really see it, but the hole that's underneath me right now, the hole in the wall. I always wondered where that was from until I watched the like anime adaptation of this, where they answered the question in the anime. I don't think that's ever revealed in the game where that's from. And it's so weird, because it's just sort of there, and it never goes away. Now, for the next question. Good God. Um, class always makes me sleepy. <gasps> what was that? That's... Flashlight. Settle down. It would seem that the time for the Oracle has come. Man, those S's are just harsh. I'll go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Professor! I'll go oh. with you. Those no, S's are so harsh. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Also, yes, she looked a little cross-eyed there. Did you see that? I think they were trying to get her to look over there, but that really didn't work. <laughs> Alright, can I please... Is there no way that I can fix this sound? Because it is going to absolutely drive me insane if... If this sound is like not good, I tried so hard to get the volume to work right. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> there. If that ends up being too low, I'll fix it later. I'd rather it be too low than too high. Why do you keep sticking your nose in things, Lloyd? You sure are glutton for punishment. Then again, you go through the western forest every day to come to the village, even though you hate to study, so I guess a lot of things you do don't make sense. Wow. Harsh. Ouch. <laughs> let's, uh, let's leave everything to the professor away here. Okay. I wonder if the light had anything to do with the oracle. Did you not hear what the professor said? The professor probably knows. Professor... During class, Rain said that when the oracle comes, the Crucius Crystal enshrines the altar shrines. So that light must have been emitted by the Crucius Crystal at the temple. Makes perfect sense. I love Tales of Symphonia, by the way. I'm just a little stressed out from the sound, so I'm just like... My brain... I'm sure I will recover. <laughs> Study on your own, huh? That's basically telling us to go play. I agree. That's exactly what we always do. Hi, Clet. That light was so pretty. When did this hole get here? See, that's the only explanation we ever get. It's like, huh, I wonder where this hole is here. And, like, through the whole game, like, it never goes away. It's just there. So I'm like, where did this come from? And then in the anime... In the anime, we get told where it comes from. It's like, what the heck? Couldn't just fit it into the game? Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. I'm really curious to find out what really happens when Colette rec when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the chosen of regeneration and the day of prophecy, but no one tells us what really happens. But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. It's research. <laughs> That's just an excuse. So, an excuse is an excuse, right? Don't be so stuffy. You're coming too, right? We're best friends after all. Clint, want to come along too? Huh? Uh, okay. So where to? God damn it. Where else? The light. You're directly involved with all this. Aren't you curious? Are you curious? Of course I'm curious. Then I'll be curious about it too. See? 
Dwarven vow number four. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. That is the exact opposite of what she is doing. <laughs> I'm with you, Genus. Not the Dwarven vows again. You always use those when you need an excuse. Colette and Genus joined the party. That appears at left screen to trigger a skit. Skits contain hints about where to go next, as well as other variety of fun chats between the characters. I always love the Tales of series for the skits. I love the skits. I think they're awesome. I, um... Oh, God. What was the game I played not too long ago? Uh... It wasn't... It might have been Zisteria. might have been Vesperia. I don't remember, but one of them had, like, really good ones that, uh, had, like, um... Callbacks to the other games. There you go. What's going on? It's awful quiet. Where did everybody go? Colette! I'm Frank. <laughs> Father! <laughs> Frank! Thank goodness you're safe. Frank, what happened to everybody in the village? They're all hiding. The designs invaded the village just a short while ago. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They passed through the village and headed for the temple. By the way, this is a JRPG and there's lots of talking. If you don't like me talking, you go away! Why? Azalea is a non-aggression treaty with the Zions. I also thought about doing voice acting, but you know what? I am just too stressed. I'll do it later. Also, I can't stop yawning! And I don't know why. It's like noon. <laughs> You mean that agreement where they don't attack the village as long as we leave the human ranch alone? Yes, Grandmother said it is to protect me. Where is Grandmother? Phaedra is at the temple preparing for the ritual. Phaedra is at the temple, but that's where the designs. The priests are there with there's no need to worry. Now, collect. I know. I will fulfill. I promise to fulfill my duty as the chosen. Glock. Lloyd, penis, you should go home. I'm worried about letting Clint go by herself. I'll go with her to the temple. Me too. Shut up, penis. Alright. Uh, thank you. I'll wait at the house. Come back immediately if anything happens. Okay. The Village of Oracles is salient. Oh, there's one of them skits. I wonder if Rain's gonna be mad at us. Don't worry. All we have to do is get back before cla get back to class before she does. But wasn't Professor Rain going to the temple, too? What if we run into her? We'll be fine. Probably. <laughs> it's very Animu, and that's why I like it. I like the Animu. You can save your game in this memory circle. Press A when standing on the memory circle to access the save screen. Eh. I did play a little bit, as you can see, to make sure it works. I'm still unsure. Whoa, it's a monster! I thought the northern region where the temple is located was a sanctuary. That's Penis's voice now. Also, his name is Penis. <laughs> Why are they... It must be part of the trial. Martel's trial involves battling monsters. We don't have time to talk. Let's get this thing. Roger! I'm forming voices. How do I buttons? Okay, that button does that. Demon Fang! Demon Fang! That does that. Oh my god. Was it? Is it just me or are these? Is this really loud? Oh, I hate that saying. Is that really loud to anybody else? It's loud to me. I'm so like, so concerned about audio right now. Like, after having to, like, trash, like, so many videos because of freaking audio problems, I'm so paranoid. Lloyd, you're amazing. Ah, well, I owe it to this thing here. Though. Alright, that's an X-Sphere. Yeah, it's designed for combat and brings out my maximum strength. Without this thing, I'd be nothing. But you're still strong, Lloyd. Yeah! Yeah! At least his sword skills are good. <laughs> Penis is Gilbert Godfrey now. <laughs> what do you mean, at least? There's another one. Let's go, you two. 
Wait, Lloyd, the professor said magic is more effective than physical attacks on non-physical spiritual monsters. Really? Yes! <laughs> okay then, I'll leave the ghost to genus. I mean penis. I'll go for the zombie. During battle, press right button to switch the control. Okay. Tilt the poopers here and then I'll press it on the right bed you to select the target freely. Okay, here we go. Okay! Oh my gosh. My audio is all wrong. It's going to bug me. It's important to choose the target wisely when there's lots of monsters, or we're going to end up against a dangerous one. It's especially important when saving an ally that's in trouble. We have to be careful! <laughs> Let's go to the temple. But not before I fix my settings again! There. Maybe that'll be good. And then I'll save again. Because god damn it. Alright, we're we're done with we're done with this episode. This episode is a travesty. <laughs> As penis will be sure to tell you. Goodbye everybody. What is happening? <laughs> I'm having a stroke. Somebody save me.